Hi, I'm John Rafano from Vast, and welcome to Ultimate S Light Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Film Looks tab. Everyone's looking for that elusive film look, and we've got a collection of real packs that'll help you achieve it. Let's take a look. Uh, this tab helps you achieve a film look in a number of ways. Uh, the first option, Convert Video to 24p, is really only for DV video. What it does is it converts your regular uh, 60i video uh, to 24p using 2332 pull down, which is uh, easy to edit. Um, the, the premise there is that you take your video, convert it to 24p cadence before you start editing, uh, and then you edit your entire project in 24p mode. Really not needed for HD. Most HD cameras already have a 24p mode, uh, and, and there's, there's no uh, uh, 233 down, pull down for, uh, for HDV anyway. Um, so it's really, this is just really a, a DV video option. But what you would do is you would say uh, convert uh, video to 24p, uh, select where you want the files to be rendered, and then it would take all the files, all the events on the timeline, convert them to uh, 24p video, and replace them in your project. Uh, the next section is really the, the heart of, uh, of the, the film look, which is applying the different looks. And we've got a number of different looks here. Uh, these real pack, they're called real packs, and real pack zeros all come with, uh, with Ultimate S, and then you can add real packs. We see we've got five of them here with just tons and tons and tons of film looks. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'm using the uh, numbers on the keypad, you can see uh, some representation in the preview um, of what those different film looks might look like uh, against various footage, right? Um, the other thing you can do is use the timeline preview. So if you click use, click use Timeline Preview, it will take a preview of what's on the timeline. We're going to dock this window here so you can, can see both. And, and now we'll go through, we'll go back to the uh, beginning, called Ethel. Uh, and now you can see the difference, right, between uh, what's in the preview and, and when, it's, when it's been applied. So I'm going to click down again through them, and you can see these various film looks. There's a nice push 16-millimeter uh, look, very, very rich, um, a romantic look. Uh, this a more cold, uh, wintry, desaturated look. Um, so you can go through uh, all of these, and then when you find the one that you like, uh, you can just apply it. So we'll, we'll we have a number of ways to apply it. We can apply it to the selected tracks, and that will affect all the video on the track. Uh, you can just select a number of events and apply it to those selected events. Uh, if you wanted to do events within a loop selection, you can create a selection on the timeline, and it will just affect the events that are within that loop selection, or you can apply it to the master bus. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll apply it up here on the, on the master video bus output uh, so that it affects everything in your project, including titles uh, and, and everything. So we'll just apply this to the selected track. We click Apply, and now you can see uh, that that look is in our uh, preview window here. If we go to the track, we'll see the track effects are active, and it used a Sony color corrector and a brightness and contrast to, uh, to achieve the look and then you can go in here and you can tweak these and you know, decide you want to uh, push them uh, or edit them any way you like. Uh, and then the last part of this is the convert to a 4.3 to widescreen. Again, kind of a holdover from the DV video days, not uh, really helpful with, uh, with HDV, which is already widescreen. Uh, but you can convert your project to widescreen. I happen to have uh, DV video in here. Uh, so I'm going to unclick the film looks for a moment. Uh, and say convert the project to widescreen and what it will do is it will crop uh, all of my video to a 16.9 widescreen um, and, and I could do it on selected events or I could do it on the entire project and then it will convert my project itself to, uh, to widescreen. And I can do things like reduce interlace flicker and switch to 30p as I'm doing it. So let me, and, and the 30p will, will make the events uh, progressive. Let me click apply here and you see it did, it did a crop. So if I go look at these events uh, I've got a 16.9 crop that's been applied to the event, so I might want to uh, to move that. I'm going to select this; it only moves up and down, and just move it up a little bit. Uh, and I've got the crop. And then if I look at my project, uh, my project has been changed to DV widescreen. Uh, once again, not very helpful for uh, those shooting in HD, but if you're still shooting in DV, uh, converting to 24p. Uh, and using the widescreen mode will get you closer to that film look. And for everyone, especially uh, the HDV folks, um, getting these real packs, you can buy the real packs, they're, they're $24.99 a piece, uh, to get all these different uh, film looks uh, and, and apply them to your video in different ways.
Well, hopefully this has given you a pretty good idea of what Ultimate S Lite can do for you. Now it's time to add your creativity. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at ultimatesupport at vast.com. And if you don't have Ultimate S Lite yet, you can download it from our website. Until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.